We all use memberships almost every day in our normal lives without really appreciating that that is what we're doing. Have you got a Nectar or a Tesco card? They're memberships. Cards are free. If you use them, you get benefits that others who do not have the cards cannot get. Or do you have a Costco card? Well, those you do need to pay for, but they offer discounts not available to non-members. And most members will save more than the annual premium that they pay. Pretty much everyone has one in one form or another. They're absolutely everywhere. So why is there such controversy over EV charging memberships? Dave takes on CPO memberships. I'm Dave. Well, there's simply a different way that companies have of advertising their products and presenting them in a way that ensures that we will buy more of them. Simple. They will also allow the company to gather some or a lot of your personal data, and that data can be sold under certain circumstances. So in practice, you provide certain personal data and they provide you with a card of some sort. Use that card and you will get some benefits. Don't use the card, you won't. So why are they on offer? Well, in general terms, they will just ensure that the company with the product sells more. We all like a bargain. Getting a free card and then getting a free cup of coffee or a free night's stay in a hotel seems to us a bit like a free lunch, something for nothing. But there's more going on underneath because they also encourage very strong brand loyalty. So if you're thinking of buying a coffee out on the high street and you only have one loyalty card for a particular coffee shop, you're much more likely to go to that shop because you're going to get something out of it for nothing. Now, it might just be a stamp on a card which you can use when you've got enough of them to get a free coffee. Or it might be that they offer you a free cream cake with a coffee for no extra money. So they simply encourage us to use the brands for which we hold membership cards. It's really simple. So what's on offer? Well, when we look at memberships, we have to separate out what they offer the company offering them and what they offer us, the buyers or the purchasers. For EV Charger members, they're almost exclusively a discount off the normal price of using that charger. These discounts can be quite substantial. If you're going to go to the trouble of ordering a card or becoming a member, there has to be something in it for you. So the discounts on offer will typically be quite generous, maybe 10, 20, sometimes more than 30% off the normal prices. The memberships also need to be very affordable. Few people would pay 30 or 50 quid for a membership unless they were a very serious user of those EV chargers. But a fiver a month, it's about the price of a cup of coffee these days. And the 30% discount on the charging session can actually be more than double that £10 in value to you, making that sort of deal an absolute no-brainer. Most memberships are somewhere in between. Many really will give you your money back after a single session, but only one costs more than £10, and then only just. So who are they for? Well, when we look at who might want a membership deal, it is important to do that quick calculation of how much am I paying without membership? How much am I likely to get back from each charging session or the total month's charging sessions versus the premium I will have to pay per month? So example, if the monthly premium is a fiver and however many sessions you choose each month, you're going to save more than the fiver, it would be strange not to use it. If you're a very light user and you do only charge once a month and the premium is more than you're going to save, that's also a no-brainer. Don't do it. Now, there are rules, regulation, terms and conditions apply to all of these. So it's important to check out exactly what it is that you're getting, what they offer and what the terms are. There are still free memberships available for EV drivers, but they do tend to offer the least in return. As a general rule, as you pay more, you'll get more. You'll normally be required to use the card or an app in order to activate the discount. But you already do this with a Nectar card. What do they say? Have you got a Nectar card? Here it is. You hand it over now. So uh, you're going to be using this with an RFID card or an app or on your smartphone. So there's not much of a restriction. 
Probably most important of the terms and conditions is your cancellation rights. Here, the majority of memberships are operated purely on a month-by-month -month basis, which means there's no term, no minimum term, and therefore no charge for ending the membership. You can do so at any time completely free of charge. Be very wary of any memberships that have these sort of cancellation restrictions. So now we know what they are, who they're for, what you get out of them. So let's have a look at some real world examples. We will assume here that you have an EV with a battery size of about 40 kilowatt hours for a budget model and about 80 kilowatt hours for a family size EV. We'll calculate for you the cost and savings if you charge just once a month and also if you charge your EV much more often, say every week. We're going to open with Fastnet. Well, Fastnet is a European charge point operator with stations throughout Netherlands, Germany, UK, Belgium and Switzerland. They are known for having faster chargers than many others, and typically they're around about 300 kilowatts, although more recently they've been increased to 400 kilowatts. Well, their standard tariff without anything is 74 pence per kilowatt hour, and they offer a single membership. It's called Gold. It offers a 30% saving on that 74 pence, that's 22 pence per kilowatt hour, and the monthly premium is £9.99. Therefore, the break-even point is an amazingly low 45 kilowatt hours added in a month. So if you have a budget car fill up uh, 50 kilowatt hours just once a month, you'd be cheaper not using a Fastnet membership. If you fill the battery up once a week, four times a month, it's absolute no brainer because your £9.99 a month will buy you discounts worth over £35. If you drive a family EV, then just one charging session a month means that the Fastnet membership pays its own way. Your £9.99 a month fee will buy you a saving of £17 on a single visit for a family EV. And obviously, if you charge your family EV once a week, your £10 membership can save you up to about £70 a month. It's staggering figures. Well, the Fastnet Gold membership is a month-by-month -month agreement, no cancellation fee, therefore can be used as and when required. Be ideal if you're going on a road trip of Europe, because if you can find Fastnet charges at each of your stops, you're going to make a very significant saving during your holiday. When you return, just don't renew the membership if you don't need it, return to what you were doing before. Now, imagine you can charge at home, right? You still use these. You see, you can fill up really cheap before you leave on your road trip. But obviously, once you're out on the road trip, you can't charge cheap at home anymore. So during your road trip, you'll enjoy a 30% discount on all your charging sessions. One additional benefit of a Fastnet Gold membership is that it allows you to activate their auto charge service. It's an amazing system. It simply stores your details as it would for a normal membership. But in addition, it will store your payment details. And the very first time you use it, it will also store your car details, those hidden codes built into it. So for all future charging sessions, you no longer need a payment method contactless payment card, RFID card, membership card. You don't even need your smartphone with an app. You simply drive up to any Fastnet charger anywhere in Europe, plug your car in, and the two communicate and the charging session will commence automatically. And the payment for that session will be deducted from your chosen method at the end of the session as you unplug and then drive off. It simply makes the whole process much quicker, easier and enjoyable. Well, next we'll look at Ionity. This is a German based CPO as a charge point operator, and they claim currently to have 761 locations in 24 countries throughout Europe, with a further 71 locations under construction. It equates to well over 4,000 individual chargers, and they have plans this year to add about another 1,000 and increase the number of countries in which they operate. Ionity has a much more complicated membership structure, but essentially they have three memberships. The standard rate without any memberships or anything is 79 pence per kilowatt hour. With this, you could go to any IMT charger anywhere in the UK, use your contactless card, you'll pay 79 pence a kilowatt hour. Now, if on the other hand, you join the Ionity Go membership, there's no monthly fee. You just join and then use the app. But by using the app, you're only going to be charged 75p which you can then pay with an RFID card or your contactless bank card in the normal way. So you get a small discount, equivalent to about 
The second subscription they call Ionity Motion. This, they say, is for drivers who don't charge very often. The monthly premium is £5.49. It's a really low figure. And in return, the 79 pence or the 75 would be reduced to 53 pence per kilowatt hour for all sessions that month using the app as a member of Ionity Motion. This offers a saving of 26 pence per kilowatt hour against the non-member tariff and means that you only need to add 21 kilowatt hours to your battery during the whole month before you break even. So your budget car adding just 40 kilowatt hours once a month will show a saving of over £10 on a single session. And it'll show a massive saving of over £40 if you charge once a week. For family car EV drivers, just simply double these figures. And these mean very simply that even if you only charge once a month, the Ionity Motion membership of £5.49 a month is an absolute bargain. And nobody should even consider going to an Ionity charger and paying the full price. Let me put that into stark perspective, right? If you pull up at an Ionity charger for the very first time in your life, and you just plug in and fill your 40 kilowatt hour battery at a standard tariff of 79p. At the end of the session, you're going to be charged £31.60. Now, if instead, when you pull up at the first time ever at any Ionity charger, you sit in your car, you log into the Ionity app, and you become a member, you arrange a £5.49 payment through the bank there and then, then you go and fill up. Now, at the end of your very first session, having put in 40 kilowatt hours, you're only going to be charged £21.20. So adding the £5.49 is going to go through your bank. And for the one session, you'll be charged totally £26.69. Let me stress again, pay standard tariff. You'll pay £31.60, become a member just before you charge, and you'll only pay £26.69. It's a no-brainer, even for one single charge on a budget EV every month. If you have a family uh, car with an 80 kilowatt hour battery and use it more than once, I'm absolutely amazed that anyone ever pays for a single session on the anti-charger at the full price without first becoming a member. Well, that just considers one single charging session. Multiply the savings by four if you charge once a week. It's crazy. But Ionity offers a third membership, which they call Power. This is intended for those who do regularly charge at Ionity chargers, but more than once. And this costs £10.50 a month. But in return, the price reduces to 43 pence a kilowatt hour. That means once again, if you just pull up there with your budget car as a non-member, you'd be charged 79 pence, and that would be £31.60. If you first become a member, pay £10.50, then add in the cost of the charging session, it's £17.70. You're going to pay a total of £20.70. For a family EV driver, the full price would be 63.20. The discounted price, just one charge, 44.90. But this, of course, is just for one session a month. If it's a family car driver you're charging once a week, you could be saving around £20 a session for four sessions throughout the month. That's a considerable sum of money. Well, these memberships are just so incredibly good value that with Ionity, as long as you're doing more than one session a month, or you've got a big family EV with an 80 kilowatt hour battery, you should always, always, always take out a membership for the first time you're charging each month if you haven't already got one. Well, Tesla offers some of the cheapest charging in the UK already without membership, but also offers a membership. Pay £9.99 a month and you'll enjoy a discount of around about 30% off the standard tariff. Now, it is incredibly difficult to give you exact figures here because many of Tesla's superchargers have different tariffs and nearly all of them have different tariffs at different times of day. So, for example, there might be one rate overnight, really cheap, might be one rate early morning or late evening, and there might be another rate, peak rate, in the middle of the day. So trying to work out an actual figure is very difficult, but if you access the membership, as always, through their app, it has to be done that way. Uh, once your app is installed, it will clearly show you the price as a non-member alongside the price as a member. So you're going to be able to see exactly what you're going to be charged for each of the sessions. The Tesla membership is probably the only one which is not worth looking at unless you charge at least twice a month, whether you drive a budget or a family EV. But as a member, you're going to enjoy some of the most ridiculously cheap prices you can ever imagine for public EV charging out on the road. And if you do charge more than twice a month, the membership makes an awful lot of sense. 
Well, next membership we're going to look at is for BEV. Now, I do have to say I found the pricing structure a little bit complicated. Uh, however, they do offer totally free membership. And that membership does entitle you to a sensible discount. For the ultra rapid chargers, these are 150 kilowatts and above. The standard tariff is 65 pence per kilowatt hour, which is not a bad rate. Join as a free member, use the app, and the daytime rate remains the same. But off peak after nine o'clock, before 7 a.m., that reduces now by 10 pence to 55 pence per kilowatt hour. So if you can take advantage of out of hours charging after nine o'clock, then the free membership makes an awful lot of sense. Now, because you're not paying, there's no cancellation fee of any sort. Simply join once till you cancel it, your membership it is active. But there is no point calculating for budget cars and family cars because the membership's free. <laughs> if ever you are or will use one of these, just join as a member. I'll stay with you until you finally decide to cancel it. Well, another free membership is offered by Octopus Energy and through their Electroverse card. This is a little bit different from normal. It doesn't apply to just one CPO, but it can cover many and does not always offer any discount. Hmm. But it is a free to use membership card and it does have one really neat trick. If you do already have an Octopus Energy tariff at home, you can link your card to your account. So when you charge, the cost of charging is not deducted there and then at the charger that you've just used, but simply added to your domestic electricity bill. Simple. Well, our next membership offer is one that you should avoid at all costs. Unless, of course, this is the only option for EV charging wherever it is that you live. It's BP Pulse. It has the highest tariff of almost anyone anywhere in the whole of the UK with ultra rapid charge priced at 89 pence. That's crazy. 89 pence a kilowatt hour. They do offer a membership. It'll cost you £7.89. And in return, they'll drop that 89 pence down to 69 pence. <laughs> Well, 69 pence, it'd just be better going somewhere else and not having to pay a membership at all. For example, go to Fastnet or Arnold Clark or EV on the Move. There's many, many CPOs out there charging round about 69 pence or less without forcing you to have any membership whatsoever. BP Pulse membership is one I really would try to avoid. Now, I'm finishing there, but I do know there are countless smaller memberships on offer that tend to come and go and not all offer discounts. Problem with these, many of these are also severely restricted, either in a specific geographical area or in the scope or the charges that are applicable or the hour. It gets very complicated and therefore those discounts will not apply to all UK EV drivers. So I've excluded them for the moment. But if you know of any that have missed, please let me know in the comments down below. Well, I hope I've been able to help in advising as to whether EV charging memberships will be suitable for you, and if so, which one. Obviously, if you have none of these nearby, it's probably not going to be worth driving any significant distance to take advantage of the memberships, unless by doing so and charging at least once a week, there is a significant difference. With the exception of Tesla and BP Pulse, the other memberships are pretty much an absolute no-brainer and should become standard for every EV driver. Each of those will ensure that even just one charging session a month would be cheaper as a member than not as a member. Well, thanks very much for watching. I'm Dave. If you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more, please click subscribe and hit the notification bell so we can notify you when we do launch each video. For those who want to go a little bit further, we have memberships for both Patreon and YouTube. And these for a few pounds a month will offer you lots of benefits like uh, videos that we don't show on YouTube, behind the scenes footage, bloopers, uh, plus a meetups occasionally where we'll advise you where we're going to be filming on a particular day and time. And anyone who wants to can come along, meet me, have a chat with me. And if you want to buy me a cup of coffee. Thanks very much to all the existing members, many of whom have been with us for a long time. Your support is really very much appreciated. So thanks very much. I'm Dave.